Hi, this is Emma Wright with YourAuthorBusiness.com. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use BookFunnel as a means to deliver your free books to your readers and to your subscribers so that they can read the book and do a review for you. There are many ways to deliver your book, but I found that BookFunnel is actually one of the better ways. If you look under BookFunnel here, you just click on it and it'll get you to the page whereby it'll ask you and prompt you to log in. So we'll log in real quick. You can see that I'm already logged in because I have an account account. If not, you can just set up an account. So the next thing I want to do is go to my books, or if you don't have any books, you can just go to add new right here. So to add, this is how you do it. You click on the add new. And since you are going to be delivering three different versions, you're going to be delivering an e-reader, a version that's under an EPUB file. You're also going to be delivering to your readers a Mobi file, which is Kindle compatible. And Kindle is the only e-reader out there that uses the MOBI um, document. And then the other one is to just do a PDF. And if you only have a PDF version, that's fine too. But if you want to, you can also deliver the EPUB and the Mobi version. And it makes it look very professional because this way, you know, your readers can just download the book onto their Kindle or their e-reader platform of any kind from their uh, Nook. If they have a Nook, I know Nook is kind of going out, but they can also download it onto their iPad. So you click on, yes, I have at least an EPUB. The next thing you need to do is you need to fill in all the information over here. And I'm going to quickly pause this so that I can fill it up and not waste your time. To get all the information filled out is I've gone back to my KDP platform and you may have your information on the text file or some kind of a document. So this way it'll just make things go very smoothly and very easily for you. Next thing you need to do is you need to go back to the website to fill in is the Amazon ASIN after you've already filled in the title, the author name and the series. You also need to have a tagline as well as a book description. So what I've done is I've gone to my Amazon page to get the ASIN number. And if you look here on the Amazon.com page, once you've already uploaded the book onto Amazon, you see here it's the ASIN number right here. Next thing you do is you fill it in over here. Now, if you had filled in the form saying that you only would like to add in the PDF, then you don't need the Amazon ASIN number. The next thing you need to do is you need to go down to the tagline. And what a tagline is, if I were to go back to Amazon, I'll quickly show you this. If you can see here, how this is my book description and it says a gravely ill friend, shocking news and unexpected strange. So I'm showing you how I can upload Ballet Academy. This is how you might want to do your description. I will do another video showing you how you can effectively do a book blurb, whether it's for a nonfiction or a fiction book. The next thing I want to do is I want to copy what I've already uploaded onto Amazon. Once I've populated the information here on this page, I put in the first line here, which is the book tagline. I do repeat it into the description box because of um, there's a reason to do this, but I'll show it to you in a little bit. The next three things that you need to do is you need to upload the Mobi version, which is for Kindle, the EPUB version, which is for all other e-readers, the book file for the PDF version. The last thing you need to do is to put in the cover of your book. So we're going back to the KDP platform because this is where I'm going to get the Mobi file from. Now, if you don't have a Mobi file or if you don't have a Kindle version, that's fine. There are actually other ways you can get the Mobi file, but I wanted to show you this way in case you want your book already on Amazon. If you look here, it says launch previewer. What you need to do is it says preview on your Kindle device. You click on this and if you see here, it says MOBI. This is the one that you want. And what will happen is that it'll download this onto your computer. And for me, I always want to tag it in a particular tag. Once the book is already downloaded onto your computer, the next thing you need to do is you need to upload it. There are actually two ways you can upload the Mobi file. If you see over here, it says compile my Mobi from the EPUB source instead of uploading. In case you don't want to use the Amazon way, although if you choose this way, you actually need the ASIN from Amazon. But in case you don't want to use the MOBI from Amazon, you can just upload your EPUB version and then they will transfer it onto the Mobi and they will translate it onto, into a Mobi file. So I am getting the Mobi file that I just downloaded in a little bit. And once that's downloaded, I want to go and do the EPUB file. And for the EPUB file, there are several ways you can do it. One of the ways that you can do this is to go to draft to digital. And I have a video that shows you how to do this. And if you see here, I've already downloaded my book into draft to digital and I've used them for also not just as a distribution channel, but also as a means to get my book 
in the various format that I want. I mean, you can do it in several ways. You can use vellum, which is kind of expensive. You can also use Juto, J-U-T-O-H, which you have to buy. And it's not really very expensive. And you buy it once, you can use it for all your books. But I find it's kind of complicated. And a, there is a bit of a learning curve for that. The other way is to do it through Draft Digital. And also there is another one called Calibre, which is a free software that you download onto your computer. In this instant, what I'll do is I'll just go to Edit Layout. Once you hit this button, it says jump to step, go down to the preview layout and it'll take you to this page whereby you can download the three different versions. I already am using the Mobi version, so I don't need that one, but I do need to download the EPUB preview here. Okay, to continue now, we will just download our EPUB file onto the book funnel dashboard and I'm going to choose my EPUB version right here. I'm going to open it. It will upload the file onto the software. Once the EPUB is uploaded, I will now download the PDF file. I got these files actually not from the draft to digital software, but from the Calibri software, just to give it variety so that you can see that we can do this in various ways. Now, the last one I need to do is get the cover uploaded onto this platform. And then the last thing we need to do, we click save and close. This will save all the files and information that you have already uploaded. It says that you have as you can see here, it says this book has no giveaway pages, so I can add a giveaway page. You can have two options. You can collect the reader's email address or not collect them as they download the book. These are the people whom you've already given the books to. So essentially you already have their email addresses. Also on the platform that I have, I'm only paying $20 for the entire year. It doesn't give me the options to collect the e-reader email address. You must be at least mid-level to do a giveaway. So this this is why you would want to upgrade to a mid list level plan so that when you host a giveaway, you can track and see who has already downloaded the books by the emails that they have. And it will also help you build your email subscriptions to basically build up your fan base. When and if I should do a giveaway, I will probably upgrade to a mid list level. I will just do it. No, just let them download the book. I'm also going to increase the number of download limit for this book. And for this book, I'm going to allow 60 people to be able to download the book for free. And you can use custom text or description on the page. And in this way, you can choose to either just show the page text or also have the description of the book in the page. I want to show you real quick what I mean. If you see, this is what I've done for Forgotten Mystery. This one does not include the description. It just says a missing tutor, cook's secret, a telling confession, get my book. This is what your fans and your subscribers will get once you send them this funnel page number. This is the other one. As you can see below here, it says that get my book, but it actually has the description. After you've done this, you just say save download page. You can, by the way, also change the different colors. I'm just going to use white and gray. This is kind of like what it's going to look like. For fun, I may just change it so you'll see black and gray. We'll see how it looks like. Once this is already completed, the next step you want to do is you want to always be sure that you save. You can also do save and close. This this will bring you to this page whereby you can see this is the book funnel link. If you click on it, this will be the page that you'll get. See, this is different from the other ones, which is like this. This one does not have the description below and it's on black with the blue words. So it's really a matter of preference. Once your readers get to this page and this is the URL you want to share with them. Once they get to this page, they just basically click get my book and they have the option as to what kind of e-reader platform they want to read or whether they want to read it on the computer with just a PDF. They can also even read a Kindle version on their computer as well. Um, and if they do not know how to do this, it says they can actually ask for help. So let's say if I'm wanting to do the Kindle, there are also many versions of the Kindle here. If they need help, they can just click this button and it will tell them exactly how they can get this. And you, they just click send for help. They will get an email directly from BookFunnel, giving them the step-by-step -step method to download the book that they want. All right, that's all for now. And until the next time, I will see you later.